we have those clear skies. So let's talk about what's going on. This is radiational cooling. And when you have clear skies, dry air, light wind, and let's add a fresh snowpack, that's a very efficient radiating of the surface heat back up to space. So we cool off very efficiently. However, when you put a layer of clouds up there, it's like a blanket. The clouds absorb the heat and radiate it back down, and that warms us up. So the whole thing with tonight is timing those clouds. And now that we have some of those real high, thin clouds out there, I just showed you on the satellite, those do not contribute to warming us. We have to get the lower, thicker clouds in here, and that's not going to come in until probably uh, 5, 6, 7 o'clock in the morning. So we're going to see colder temperatures than what I expected earlier on this evening. So here we are again with the clear skies, but the clouds will come in late at night, first thing tomorrow morning, and we're going to be mostly cloudy for the day tomorrow. Maybe a flurry during the day, a few uh, snow showers ahead of this cold front tomorrow evening, maybe a few tenths of an inch if we even get that from these snow showers. That comes through. We're going to have a lot of clouds for Friday, maybe some lake effect bands in the thumb. We'll have to keep an eye on that, but a lot of clouds for the rest of us. And then this high comes in, and that clears us out for the day on Saturday. And then we have to watch that storm on the East Coast. So let's talk about that. So here we are Friday at 6 o'clock. It's just getting organized, but watch this thing as it progresses northward. And keep an eye now. New York's going to be getting snow, but look at Boston. They could be getting a foot of snow or more, not to mention wind driving ashore with uh, beach erosion, coastal erosion, and flooding there. This is a true nor'easter, so we'll keep a, if, if Let's just say if you or anybody you know is going to or from New England this weekend, you may need to change those plans. All right, tonight, I think Metro and in the urban area, we're going to be dropping to about three. And you saw some of the outlying areas are going to be dropping colder than that. But then temperatures coming up toward dawn as those thicker clouds come in. So I think it'll probably be about seven uh, for a temperature, but below zero wind chills first thing in the morning. Rising to 27, but it's going to be a windy day tomorrow. So wind chills tomorrow afternoon are still going to be in the teens. And then it's back to the Arctic air behind that front tomorrow night. Now we start a warming trend, but we have to keep an eye on that Wednesday, Thursday time frame. A pretty sizable storm looks like it may develop. Just depends. We're going to have colder air coming in. How fast that comes in dictates whether it's going to be rain, ice, or snow. So we'll keep you posted on that.